Hi, welcome back to my waterfall project. Last time I installed this sluice gate at the top of the waterfall, I put a layer of mortar on the back sides of the walls to make them more water resistant. The board is left in permanently to reduce the forces on the floor and hopefully stop a hole for me. I capped the wall tops with slate for aesthetics and to stop water and especially ice in the winter getting in. Shaping the slates to fit around the gate was done with a hacksaw. This works much better than trying to shape them with a hammer. The next thing to do is build the two walls which will support the water wheel itself. I was happy to find the channel already had short walls either side, but of course there was plenty of plants and soil to clean off first. To give the walls extra strength, I decided to add small buttresses. So once I had dug it all out, it was back to more cement mixing. By hand, of course. The foundation is a mixture of random bits of concrete and gravel, mainly to reduce the amount of cement I needed to mix as much as possible. I started laying the larger stones I could find for the base, and then I started getting problems. My stone was all undressed and very misshapen. By this point, the good stones were running out, and with more frustration comes less filming. But I think it turned out alright. The next thing was to put a large beam on each wall, primarily to give me a solid flat surface I can easily attach things to. And added bonus of less wall building. I had my eye on these old gate posts. Being treated, they should last forever, but still needed to be cut down. To do this, I decided I needed to build some knee high saw horses. So that's the next job, and another video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.